and they go to another country and think that they can carry that Western entitled, selfish, self-centered attitude with them and play that out in real time. Why do they do that? It's arrogance. It's uneducated people. Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Thanks again for checking out another video review. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here. So with this video review, I'm actually going to be doing one off of Pablo Frescobar channel. You all know that I enjoy um, going on his channel, going on his uh, platform, and um, enjoying it in, in a lot of the discussions that he has going on. So there was one that he just released um, this past weekend. Uh, it was actually in reference to the passport sis, uh, that Bali situation that we all know of them being at the nail salon and not paying their debt that they had. Well, he actually had this one um, ex-military personnel, ex-Air Force, who actually jumped on there and gave his um, basic stories about what has happened in the military with a lot of these passport sis. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's go ahead and listen to these war stories or these stories of these passport sis acting up while they are in the military. So let's go check this out. Yeah, so the guy, he actually go by Professor Max. Um, and he actually gonna give us two stories in reference to how they act, how they conduct themselves overseas. Professor Max, what's going on, my guy? How you doing, brother? I've got some good war stories for you about women misbehaving overseas. Oh, tell us. Go for it. You got the floor. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little backstory. I was United States Air Force, was stationed in Saudi Arabia. And uh, this was during the Gulf War. And in Kuwait and in Turkey. So in all these countries that have been to, Saudi Arabia, which, you know, has the strictest... Laws as far as like way shit's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my first deployment, because I've been twice, my first deployment was right after the invasion. And we had a bunch of Marines. Um, we were staying at a place called Escon Village. And Escon Village is like where they put the Kurds, and the Kurds refused to live inside the building and they put their animals inside and slept outside. You probably heard that story. So anyway, this Marine Corps officer is a young captain or a lieutenant or something. She's running around the base. And typically, we get up around 4, 30, 5 in the morning and, and train like that. And she had long, blonde hair, real good looking, and she's wearing spandex. You know, you're supposed to wear an abaya, which is like uh, um, what the, the women cover themselves with. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. they and, and she's running outside of the the wire, okay? She's running outside the wire. We had sunflower fields all around, so she would be able to run, and no one would see her. Well, someone reported her to the Matawa, which is the religious police, and uh, she was a badass, so you know. But the Matawa beats people with canes. If they Bruh. see you, like, working during right. prayer time or you're, you know— showing your eating with your left hand or showing your feet or something ridiculous as their rules that they have. Um, and if you're off the base, if, if you're off the yeah. base, you're, you, yeah, you, <laughs> you're, 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 you're a subject to the laws of the land of where you are. How okay? dare you? Going overseas and pretending like you got first amendment rights and fourth amendment. None of that applies when you go overseas. None of it. Yeah, Even are. military members that are off base, you're not covered by the Service of Forces Agreement. If you misbehave, you cause an international incident, your career is in a shitter. Mm -hmm. So this poor, this this Marine, this poor, this Marine girl beat the fuck out of the police. She was out of the country the next day, and she got back to the United States and ended up with a court-martial. So it's serious. But that's just a light one. Downtown Riyadh, in the gold Sioux, which is where the gold markets are, and they saw the teas, tea pots and all that shit. Um, so we're walking through this blown out building, and on the other side is there is a gold suit. We see uh, another blonde and uh, a dude that's not her husband. Okay, you're not allowed to be in Saudi 
and walking around in public with a man that's not your husband or your father or whatever. Yo, think about that. Even with these rules that's going on overseas and they still find a way to be defiant of the rules because they think that they could get away with it because they're slick. That first one, the lady, she knows she's not supposed to be running outside where she was running at and she still did it. And here's another good, this is gonna be a good example, another good story, let's, let's listen to this. And then the Matawa stops these two, and of course our arrogant asses, we overseas and think, ah, oh, we're smarter than everybody, we're richer than everybody, we got more status than everybody. How dare you? They learn real fast, really, really fast, how quickly uh, you could be a dumbass. So this girl, the Matawa says, uh, passport, work permit, passport, work permit, and then they take the passports and they're looking at them and they say, uh, why is name no same? And then she says, because we were trying to fool you. <laughs> why would you even say that? That makes no sense of you. Knowing that you're going to a whole nother different country, different set of rules to even say such a thing. That is wild. It could have been like, yo, that's my uncle or something like that. But yo, with that much arrogance of them seeing that, that is wild. They're looking to get in trouble. And they put both of them into prison. And they shaved her head oh bald. <laughs> they shaved her fucking wow. head bald. Bruh. Now, um, <laughs> you know what they do to women when they punish them? You see, you're not allowed to. You, see, you you guys know that they cut heads off for murder, for yeah. rape, all that stuff, a drug dealing. Yeah. Um, but for stealing, they cut off your right hand. Mm -hmm. Now they what just they surgically. Your your now they, tongue off. Yeah. Well, no. Um, they just do the two things because it's it, it is what it is, and they put you in prison. They beat the fuck out of you until you admit that you did it. All right, so. The consequences for them, again, military people, and you're not covered. You you just you can't say, you can't do whatever you want. You can't act up in the Middle East, period. Now, let's flip over to Thailand, okay? Most of the majority of the girl, the women tourists that go to Thailand, normally, uh, you know, they, they're very lenient with them. But up until they made marijuana legal, there were women that used to go to Thailand from Australia and they would go there and go to the clubs and smoke weed. And the cops would come into the clubs and drug test everybody. Well, these wow. dumbass girls, I went, one was an American, one was an Australian. They ended up doing like seven years in Thai prison Wow! for just doing them dumb shit, thinking they could get away with it because they're Western. Fuck. Yeah, and, and that right there already shows you the disrespect what they have for the rules. I know one thing for a fact. If I know that something is illegal in whatever country, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it. I don't care if it's substance. I don't care if that is something that is legal in the United States. You're subjugated to their rules and their laws, and the United States is not going to come and save you. It's not going to happen. Just because... Biden say Britney Griner doesn't mean it's gonna happen for you. <laughs> so, so all I gotta say is that yo, watch out <laughs> and stay on your P's and Q's. So, um, any of you, anybody out there that's considering going to one of these countries that you are not sure or certain of how the laws are, it would be in your best interest to do a little bit of research. This way, you don't get your hands cut off, you don't get your ass thrown in jail, you don't get your head shaved bald, you don't get a fucking Article Fifteen. All the bad stuff that could possibly fucking happen can be avoided if you keep your mouth shut and you fucking just play by the rules. It's their rules. There's no way around it. It's true. That's Carry let me ask passport. you this, Professor. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this, Professor Mex. Why do you think Western women seem to have the biggest problem with this? Well, first, they don't respect men. And they don't respect government because they give them everything. So when they go to a foreign country, they automatically assume that life's on easy mode as it is in the U.S. We've made everything modern in the U.S. so that women could survive. 
and they go to another country and think that they can carry that Western, entitled, selfish, self-centered attitude with them and play that out in real time, why do they do that? It's arrogance. It's uneducated people. Facts, no pincer. That is true facts right there. And one thing I'm going to say that I don't know if those stories are true or not, but if they are, wow, that is wow. To think that they have that much arrogance to do what they did. And of course, you go to jail because of that. You know, so if you think that it's going to be the same, you know what it is in, in the United States and all these other, other countries, it's not going to work out. And the last bit that he said was true facts. Like it's a hundred percent. And a lot of these women, they don't respect authority. They don't respect the laws. They don't respect the rules or government. It shows. And he was spot on about that. So, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, <laughs> these are some good stories. He gave three stories. And let me know which one you could resonate with. Or maybe, hey, you might have some stories of your own. Uh, but hey, <laughs> leave, a, leave a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out. <laughs>